Hey, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And today I'm going to continue uh, on series of how to get Flutter desktop running on your machine. So if you don't know about Flutter, Flutter is an SDK that you can use to build Android, iOS, desktop application, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and website. But the question is, uh, sometimes when you're trying to uh, experiment with that, you get an issue of like this you now if you can read it so let me see if i can zoom it uh, a little bit so you get this problem of like visual studio developer for windows is not there so what this bug what this error is telling you actually is that you need to install uh you need to install the the visual code not vs code the visual studio code editor and you need to choose either of like community, professional and enterprise, but don't choose either of these two if you are not ready to pay the, the amount of money that is needed because the Visual Studio Code is not a free editor. So get that thing straight, then you download the, the community, which is I highly recommend if you don't have the money, then uh, you'll be ready to go. So assume that you have downloaded and you install it as any other window application. You just click the application, then next, next, and next. So eventually you will reach and land on this, on this uh, beautiful interface that you can install anything you want. So the first things you want to do uh, is to install this desktop development with CC. So make sure that you you check it and um if you want to develop also for Linux, also check this but uh because i'm not on Linux, there's uh i think for me there's no reason to do that i'm not planning to bid for for Linux for now uh, i'm just experimenting flutter with windows Right, because if you, you don't know about us, uh, like keep trying to experiment with technologies because uh, in one way or another, my team and I, we use Flutter and we just want to see the, the possibility that is uh, available with Flutter. So you can see that if I choose that, it's going to install, oh yes, this is so big. It's going to install 7.5. 52 gigabyte, which is something I don't want. So I'm going to uncheck these things, um, uh, which I think I'm, I don't need right now. Then leave with um, uh, something that I think is much more needed uh, than anything else. Let me see. What do I need? So there is uh, this window 10, um, window 10 SDK, and there is this window 10 SDK, and there's different versions. Let me see if I can choose this. Oh. Okay, it seems like I don't know what I cannot select and uh, let me just install that things and let's see if it's going to be soft. So I'm going to hit uh, install and it's going to install the, it's going to install the SDK and the, the environment for me to build any window application using Flutter environment. So I'm going to pause the video, then I'll come back with the installation complete. And, um, uh, I think this is going to be a little bit fun because um, think about it. You will be able to build, um, you'll be able to build the desktop application and, and Android and iOS using one code base. And this is so amazing because like uh, uh, if you can, uh, if you are on budget, which is probably the, the you are, because you, you you probably are a startup. Even though if you are a big corporate, you don't want to just waste money like crazy, right? You just want to shoot, uh, you know, two bed using one stone, if you know what I mean. So by that, 
you can take the resources and focus them to where it should be focused to. So think about it. What is the hardest uh, things in building software? Is it to write codes? Think about it. It is not. Because uh, building, uh, you know, writing code is just part of the puzzle, but it is not the hardest part in, in making the product successful. So instead of making, like taking the whole money that you can spend on advertisement, uh, you know, public uh, announcement, you know, the, the media, the, the, the AdSense and so on, instead of taking all those money and just dump it to only coding, why can you, can't you use one code base that is going to rule them all? So that, that's what I thought, like, uh, you know, as a, a take lead, which is uh, not actually, it's, it's like, um, if, if you can use one code base, uh, you know, it will be, uh, you know, a life changer. Like for us, for, for my team, um, we use, uh, you know, we're using Flutter and Angular on desktop, but I think it would be so much uh, to make more sense if, if Flutter is much mature that it can run on both devices. And this is why I like, keep uh, experimenting to see what is available with Flutter so that I can maybe, maybe, maybe in the future have one code base. Because right now the question is, uh, even though in nutshells, uh, Flutter claim to be one code base for, for Android, iOS and, um, and desktop and web, it is not just going to work out of blue, you know, cause like there's these things called plugins and these plugins are like, are like dependencies that you are going to install in Flutter. They say that you need to use, uh, you know, you know, path, you know, you want to resolve the path uh, in your app. So the path is different. What we call path is different from iOS and is different from the Android. And of course, it is different from web or if, if it exists at all. So now if you use these, you know, dependencies and, and, uh, and you are in one way, uh, you know, tightening your application to only run on one environment because these uh, dependencies that you have used is not supported maybe on, on, on desktop or is not uh, supported on web, or is not supported on, on, uh, on Android and iOS. And that's where I think uh, Flutter is going to have a lot of challenges because there's these different environments and these environments is going to be uh, different because, you know, uh, Windows, uh, the way Windows thinks about paths uh, is different of how Linux think about path. Uh, and that's the challenge. Uh, that is one example I, I picked. You know, there is of course a lot of you know scenarios, a lot of um, uh, challenges. You know, if you think about it. And even though in, it claims to have one code base, but it's not just going to work like that. There still need to be a developer to decide like which dependencies to use, and which um, which you know, of course, mainly the decision making uh, of what to use and what not to use in order for 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 the goals to be met. Um, and I, I think that's just the, the future of Frata. And I strongly believe that even those uh, those constraint uh, Frata is still is still is a good uh, choice for for cross platform because uh, if you think about data solutions such as Electron, um, you know, data, there's different uh, cross-platform technologies, but all of them, some of them actually rely on uh, Electron. And Electron is JavaScript. Uh, to my experience, JavaScript is a very hard uh, programming language. I'll give you three reasons, like, you know, three reasons. One is, um, JavaScript is so hard to know 
if like it's so hard to know and auto op optimize for speed so in order for javascript application to run very faster you need a word class engineer okay you need someone who understands data structure you need someone who understands the, the the complexity of algorithm and change it according to the machine the specification and so on and if you think about it this is not something easy and everyone uh, like many developers really called out of like they don't care about those stuff and that's where the problem comes when you use uh, technology like erection and so on there are good technology you can do pretty much anything with that uh, for example slack application and you know, many other application uh, i've heard that uh, skype is also built with erection which i'm not sure but i'm sure of uh, erection because i have you know tested it uh, those technology really if you see the application are very well they're performing very well their, their speed is okay but if you take the other project of you know junior developers or you know these developers who are not you know a higher level of optimizing the javascript to be better then the the, the speed is going to be uh, you know something that you will notice but the difference of Flutter with JavaScript is that even though you suck at developing, you can all you can always come up with the speedy application. Because if you don't know the the that language compiled to to native uh -huh. language of the machine binaries, and that 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 itself really give the the Flutter and that programming language an added bonus on top of javascript in my opinion so uh that's why i'm experimenting with uh you know Flutter on on windows and on web to see what is possible how can a team do use one code base so if you need a tip and experience uh, ask me i'm here uh, you can always ask me when I'm free, because I'm not free always. Uh, see you next time.